Now, another way to do the same thing is you take a fifth, it could be any fifth within the, the scale or the chord. For example, I say I was playing this tune again and the first chord is F minor. So I'll play the fifth from F to C. And I'm gonna play the whole tune within the window of that fifth. So as the changes go by, I'm seeing how this fifth fits in that chord. So first chord, second chord, third chord. something like that. What, how so it? what happens when I do that is I'm not seeing the chord start from the root <clears> all the time. I'm seeing the chord from the window of this fifth and it helps me get more motivic development on my lines. So I could play uh, a melody that is more horizontal than vertical. I'm not arpeggiating chords I'm playing. So if I do one fifth and practice that, and then take another fifth and practice it, it's almost like I'm seeing the changes subtly change as opposed to completely change. So I'm saying, okay, first chord, F minor, second chord, B flat minor, third chord, E flat seven, A flat major, D flat major, G seven, C major, sharp 11, C minor, F minor, so it's changing like, you see, oh, only one note's changing. So when I'm playing. So I'm just changing a couple of notes and I'm thinking more rhythmically and uh, See what happens. Okay. You, you have to, you know, when you, when you limit yourself like that, you've got to come up with some different way of playing. Now, do you have any suggestions of how I might work on that? And you know, when I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking of like doing little, you know, little dips in the sound, little innuendos in the sound, little vibratos, little um, uh, different articulations, almost like you're talking. Okay. You know, so you're, you're trying different things out. So it's getting me out of my normal habits in a way. Totally. Making me think about other dimensions of the music. Yes. All right. It's, uh, it's more rhythmic. Uh, it's, 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 you could do the same thing, playing the same rhythm in, in a 3-4 uh, uh, rhythm, a 5-4, 7-4, things like that. You could even limit yourself more. I could say, okay, I'm going to play a whole solo within a third. Let's just do eight bars. Okay. The E flat, your E flat to, to G. My E flat to G, all right. A concert. Concert, all right. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Especially, uh, especially after hearing somebody, you know, like all over the saxophone, everyone, or all over your instrument, it's a nice uh, change of pace, a nice contrast to, to just play uh, a limited range. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's the opposite of spelling out the changes. So once you can spell out the changes, a little of that goes a long way. It's great. So uh, you're working on motifs and, and rhythms like you just did. Changing one note up, it's lyrical.